In Hebrews chapter 9, there's this comparison, there's this look at the earthly tabernacle, the heavenly tabernacle, the earthly sanctuary, so to speak, the heavenly sanctuary. And it's really comparing the old covenant and the new covenant, how the old is temporary, how it doesn't suffice, and how the new is permanent and it lasts forever. How the blood of goats and bulls can, well, can cover our sin, but how the blood of Jesus Christ removes our sin forever. Listen to verse 12, I want to read it. It says this, describing those contrasts between the two. Not with the blood of goats and calves, but then it says this, but with his own blood, speaking of Jesus, he entered the most holy place once for all, having obtained eternal redemption. Not it, not a temporary redemption, but an eternal redemption. Not coming in with, you know, the blood of goats or calves, but Jesus with his own blood redeems us, forgives us. And the reason that's so important, well, let me read just one more verse to you and you'll see why. It says this in verse 27 of Hebrews chapter 9, that it's appointed for men to die once, but after this, the judgment. See, we all have been touched by death in some way, by a friend, by a neighbor, by a relative, by a loved one, by a natural disaster, the crazy shootings that go on. We're all impacted by this thing that no one can escape, and it's called death. So you die, and the Bible says then there's the judgment, there's an appointment that you keep, but Jesus takes our judgment on the cross. The old way of dealing with sins through the rituals of the Jews and the earthly tabernacle was, well, it just covered it. But now they're removed forever. It said, according to the law, almost all things are purified with blood. So Christ was offered once to bear the sins of many. To those who eagerly await for him will appear a second time, apart from sin, for salvation. Not only did he die for our sins, but we wait for him to return again to take us to that, well, that heavenly tabernacle. So here's the contrast, here's what's going on. Hebrews chapter nine, the old, the new. And Jesus is our great high priest, who not only is our high priest, but also our sacrifice who removes sin forever.